Welcome to Vienna, the city of elegant cafes, street side sausage stands, schnitzel, strudel, and Sasha torts. Of course, Vienna is also famous for its music, architecture, and its history too. But that's not what today's video is about. Today, we're gonna eat. Good morning from Vienna. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I love to travel for food. So this video is all about the best things that I could find to eat in Vienna. So uh, let's get eaten. Hope you're hungry. It's breakfast time. So the first stop had to be a cafe for coffee and a strudel. While there are plenty of savory options for breakfast around Vienna, including at this very cafe, I had just arrived and I was craving something apple-y. Cafe Havelka first opened in 1945 and since then has been run by three generations of the same family. I came here for the melange, which is a type of coffee you can find in Vienna that is somewhere in between a flat white and a cappuccino. The coffee has hot milk added to it as well as a small amount of frothed milk on top, but not too much of either one. Both the coffee and the strudel came out piping hot and they tasted extraordinary. A healthy start to the morning? Well, there was fruit in it. That strudel was so good. It wasn't too sweet. It was almost entirely made of apple. Uh, with cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, and then pastry on top and the bottom, and it was piping hot. Oh. Highly recommend. Something to know about that cafe and seemingly lots of other places around, cash only, so make sure you have plenty of cash. The next stop on this little food tour that we're having here in Vienna is to have something that I first had 14 years ago when I first came to Austria. It's called a queso crena, and it's essentially a sausage with cheese in the middle. It's amazing. And most of the bratwurst stands around the city seem to have queso crena, but I read in particular that the place that I'm headed now, this is some of the best. Look at the cheese. Oozing out. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm so excited. A little mustard. Mm. Have it. Mm. It was as good as I remember. A little saltier than I remember, but so <laughs> delicious. And such a good budget option for traveling around. It was four euros and 30 cents. Uh, it was a ton of sausage, a piece of bread. There were a few other options you could get it like in a bread roll, but I'm a purist. There are two things that for me are very Viennese when it comes to eating. The schnitzel and the Sasha Torn. And I'm about to go have one of them. Cafe Rudigerhof has been serving up coffee, pastries, and Viennese classics for decades. In the summertime, the outdoor area is no doubt a big hit, but on a chilly autumn afternoon, I was happy for the warmth of the cafe and an even warmer plate of freshly fried schnitzel. Legend has it that an Austrian general discovered the Italian dish Milanese during a battle there in the late 19th century. And he came back to Vienna and ordered his cook to whip up a Viennese version of it. Thus, the Wiener Schnitzel was born. A 
After leaving Rudigerhof, I headed along the canal past the famous Nashmacht food market. There are restaurants, wine bars, beer gardens, and produce shops all in one place. One shop in particular caught my attention, so I thought I should give it a try. Okay, we have this Austrian specialty apparently. I got the one with cheese in it. They had ones that were sweet with apple, with um, some like kind of raspberry or cherry. But I think this is gonna be savory, so. Not savory. But not very sweet either. Mm, the cheese is good. It's like cheesecake in the middle. That's delicious. It's like cheesecake inside of a sweet brioche kind of bread. <laughs> My last stop was to have another famous Viennese dish, the Sacha Tort. Café Schwarzenberg is one of the oldest cafés on the famous Ringstrasse Road in Vienna. I have to admit, one of the main reasons I came here wasn't because of their cakes, but because of their hot chocolate, which on the menu is called Alt Wiener Art. And it did not disappoint. Both the Sacha Tort, made of layers of chocolate cake and apricot jam, alongside this rich, dark, hot chocolate topped with whipped cream and cinnamon, made me just about the happiest gal in the world. That Sasha tort or Saka tort was so good, not too sweet, just like all desserts that I've had since I've been here, but it was heavily overshadowed by how good that hot chocolate was. Cinnamon whipped cream, what a revelation. I'm only being mildly dramatic when I say that that was one of, if not the best hot chocolates I've ever had. It was creamy, it was rich, it was dark. It wasn't too, too sweet. The whipped cream was really like the sweetest part of it. it melted into the hot chocolate. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't live in Vienna because I would go there a lot. It's a bit expensive. It was like six euros for a hot chocolate, but for a one-off enjoyment, it was heavenly. The problem with travel is that you can't eat everything. <laughs> Not on one trip anyway. I hope you enjoyed touring around and eating all of these delicious Viennese delights with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you the next time for the next meal. <laughs> Bye.